everyone, and welcome back to the Fueling Innovation track of the 3D Experience Forum. My name is Kyle Herring, and I'm on the Anovia marketing team. I'm here to kick off today's track on delivering projects on time and on budget with collaborative planning, execution, and analytics. This is the second of four breakout sessions that the Anovia brand is bringing to you today, all of them focused on how to be more agile and responsive by leveraging collaborative innovation. We have some great speakers from some highly innovative companies lined up for all these sessions, so we're hoping you'll be able to attend each of them either today or as they're made available on demand. On the topic of speakers, we're fortunate enough to have two for this session, both bringing some great insights into the challenges they've faced and how they're leveraging collaborative planning to address them. Speaking first today is Roberto Marengo. He served as a CTO of Sabelt for the past three and a half years. They're an organization focused on the development of car seats and seat belts for both consumer and motorsport applications. And as you know, there's not a lot of margin for error in safety equipment, so we're excited to hear from Roberto today. Next will be John Poog. He served with IMC Toys for over 16 years and has been in various product engineering and development roles. I'm guessing you can figure out what type of products they develop over at IMC. What you might not have thought about is how highly competitive the global market is for toys and how rapid innovation and quality are hallmarks about how companies are able to differentiate and grow their market share. So to set the stage for the presentation today, I wanted to briefly look at how current market trends are impacting the way we do business. Looking at this from a high level, it's easy to say that product development has become more complex. Customers are asking for more innovative products and with a much higher degree of options to choose from. That's already a challenging path to navigate, but making matters more difficult is the fact that competition is fierce, forcing products to be delivered to market more rapidly than ever. Compounding this is the fact that projects are managed differently by each of the disciplines involved in them. Where one team could be using a spreadsheet to track progress, another could simply have it as post-it notes on the wall. This means that there's not only project data is siloed across business systems, but there is also a wall between projects and the actual product data that they support. Ultimately, this leads to schedule conflicts, reporting challenges, and unnecessary idle time. As a result, up to 30% of project time is spent on non-value added activities like searching through emails for project information, looking for current files, and providing updates. This non-value added time cascades across every task leading to increased costs, schedule creep, high risk of errors, and overall reduced productivity. The impact to increasing project complexity and disconnected project data management is pretty clear. According to a study done by the Standish Group on the project delivery, only 17% of projects are delivered on time and on budget with the features and functions as originally specified. 52% are identified as being challenged, where a project is completed and operational but over budget, over the time estimate, and offers fewer features and functions than originally specified. And a full 31% of projects are impaired to the point of being canceled altogether. All this leaves a huge opportunity for improvement. Our speakers today will be exploring this topic on collaborative project delivery, but I also wanted to quickly note that we have an on-demand deep dive webinar that's focused on this exact topic that's available through the Anovia to the Max webinar portal. You can find that by uh, going to the URL, go.3ds.com slash Anovia to Max, or if you just do a quick Google search looking for Anovia to the Max, it'll point you towards the, uh, the webinar portal. So if this topic is interesting to you, I'd highly recommend watching that webinar as well. It gets into some of the operational and functional specifics that we won't have time to cover in the sessions here today. And speaking of time, now would be a good time to hand things over to Roberto to get things started. Thank you. I am uh, Roberto Marengo. I am pleased to participate in today's 3D Experience Virtual Forum and uh, to share my experience with uh, Enovia. As the CTO of Sabels, I am the head of Sabel product development, including OEM products, design, uh, racing and motorsport product design, testing laboratory and prototype shop. Before uh, starting and share with you my experience, I'd like to introduce uh, you, Sabbat, with uh, our institutional video to understand better who, who is Sabbat.
let me tell uh, you about we Sabelt. You know? Sabelt is a global uh, leader in uh, development and uh, manufacturing of original equipment, car seat, seat belt, and motorsport products for racing activity. Sabel was founded in uh, 1972 and uh, started as a manufacturer of safety seat belts for original equipment. Over the years, the expansion of the compulsory nature of uh, seat belts brought about a new production system, allowing the company to consolidate and develop an uh, extensive knowledge of buckle system, seat belt, and complex retention system. We have four, we have three business units normally. Uh, we have it uh, having uh, achieved industrial leadership sub that has expanded its range also by also dedicating itself on high end sports road car, accessory and nice niche market becoming the European, a European leader in the development and the production of three different business, racing, OEM original equipment seats, and belts for special application. The quality of cyber products is a result of intense research and development, which allow it to reach the highest level of performance and safety. Sabelt invests less or more, 80% of uh, its resource annually in research and development, and is the only company in the sector to have the internal dynamic test laboratory to perform ACA and FEA tests, I mean to verify in the strength and the effectiveness of its products. What is the business challenge we must uh, have uh, on the real uh, life in the business. In the recent years, I, I believe the most important challenge for Sabel has been to manage the transition from high tech company, but with uh, artisan imprint to a company always with very high technology, but with a much more industrial and manager, managerial structure and organization. Maintaining the flexibility and operation typical of the previous organization. This was the most important business challenge for us because uh, it not only concerned the production change, but it mean, uh, meant changing the way to approach the entire product development process and the global market involving all the departments of the company. This was really a big, big uh, challenge for us. You know? And uh, I analyzed how our project uh, were managed prior to implementing the three experience and the Novia. I want to say the management of the CAD data was already done quite well, but not free from uh, errors. In addition, our process management relied on some key approval steps that require paper signatures and with many managers often begin outside of the company uh, for work. And this manual step causes sometimes a delay and was not really efficient. I like to provide a practical example of some errors due to the dual management uh, were reflected in a time delay as well in an eco economic impact. A case uh, uh, above I, all that I remember very well was one of that I experienced uh, at the down of my arrival in Sabbath. The purchasing department was responsible for se sending the the, 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 the CAD data to the supplier and asking to the engineering department to provide the drawings by mail or by indication where to get the drawings on the server. Unfortunately, happened 
Sometimes this mail was reading delay. Sometimes uh, they getting from the server not the right file. And uh, uh, the result was we send uh, to the supplier uh, an out outdated CAD data revision. You can imagine the negative, negative implication of uh, such action, no? Was very, very, uh, a bit, sometimes a small impact, but in, in uh, I remember in some cases was really big impact for timing and cost. The implementation of Enovia, uh, I tried to solve this part, but not only. I took uh, the example of a real case to eloquently explain a critical problem, but were also other things to fix. The first thing to do was put it in order, and secondly, to increase the efficiency and effectiveness of all data and process management. All this in a market that require us to be uh, require us to be even faster without penalizing performance, product quality, and cost. We decided to introduce something uh, that allowed us to respond to the market and solving the problem we had. Uh, from our point of view, it was easy because uh, uh, Sabbath used Katia V5 for, for uh, product design and the most uh, logical choice was to adopt the 3D experience and obvious solution. No, no, not only for the management of the CAD data, but also for the management of uh, project and documents uh, with the aim to support all the approval and the modification flow. Uh, as you can see in this video, uh, in Enovia, for every project, I can monitor in real time the status with a nice dashboard, compare the plan with the status and immediately identify the critical or light activities. Inside the project structure, we mapped all our activity. I can, I can see the status and level of the completion uh, and every document connected can be reviewed. I can switch to the Gantt view where the activity are located inside the calendar view and all the dependencies are highlighted. We also manage our progress stage and, and uh, gate. And this is a key to track all the gates approval with full traceability. Finally, accessing to the 3D compass also Designed CAD data are connected and it's possible to view, rotate, zoom, sectioning, and review the 3D data, but not only the 3D data, but also the 2D data. And uh, you don't need uh, the CAD tool, uh, you don't need to CAD uh, is uh, enough uh, to have the, 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 a small license for the 3D and OVIA, but all the department can be connected and uh, don't need anymore to send 3D data by mail or, 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 uh, or indicate on the server, it's not, uh, everything is, is available. Uh, one of the big advantage we had, unfortunately, uh, the 3D experience uh, help us uh, in a COVID uh, period because I remember very well, the, the, first of all, the 10th of March when the lockdown was announced in Italy, uh, Sabel decided to pack, believe me, in three hours all the workstation and let the engineer bring them at home. This honestly was the, the parts for us more hard because uh, in three hours, collect everything and go out. Uh, but the big advantage 
but we start uh, for our lucky uh, two years before. Uh, with the day after, everyone was able to continue to working on running project, having an OVIA, enabling them to work at home like begin in the office. Overall, with the introduction of the three experience and OVIA in the sub, and all CAD data are managed by the system, therefore, we have eliminated the possibility to accessing out data or incorrect data. The system always provides the last test revision while maintaining the whole history of the previous revision. And also notify all uh, members of uh, the project team, quality purchasing, program manager, and uh, that a new version of CAD data exists, eliminating, eliminating the first cause of errors. We are so implemented, and this is very important, in the system, the management of all the documents avoiding the side mistake means we bring a high level of implementation. It was not only for the CAD data, but also for all the document related documentation related to the to the to the project no and we avoid the same mistake we did for with the, the CAD data because we eliminate uh, uh, all the possible uh, error identified before we transport our internal product development methodology the sub development system inside the novia the sub development system methodology provides a, a whole series of phases and approval to allow the progress of the, of the project up to the production. Uh, we have uh, brought the management of the sub product portfolio to Enovia and uh, structured all the activities within project. For each project, the system uh, guys, the, the execution of the activity and uh, through the a stage of uh, in gate model support us to manage the approval process, keeping track for, of uh, the information each stage and all the decision taken. And now you manage all incoming document. Therefore, all the documentation received from the customer as a technical and quality specification as well as all document, documents produced internally, we, we everything is managed. All the documentation is managed inside. No? Let me let me to provide an, uh, a practical say, example of uh, of uh, how a problem is solved. Uh, but this is, uh, I am sure you, you know very well, but I try, <laughs> I try to explain the, uh, this simple uh, application, simple example we had. Uh, let me suppose uh, there is some noise uh, derived from a pin. The problem is taken care of by the quality department, which checks through an obvious, if the pin complies with the drawing. And I already eliminated one step. Me to send to quality the drawing to check. No, the, the drawing is available in the system and quality itself can check and verify if the pin respects the drawing. Okay, now there is two choice. One is the pin don't respect the drawing. Okay. It's not a problem of the engineering team because it's a problem of the supplier. The supplier don't send to us the correct parts. Perfect. Quality. Call the supplier and hey, guys, send me the correct part. This is not good. React. But uh, we suppose uh, the second option, second option, the pin 
is uh, uh, is correct because of respect to the drawing. And uh, this means for us that there is a problem on the on on the project because if the pin is okay and we have the noise, there is something in the project. Uh, in this case, the quality through the system through the Novia can open an issue in electronic format because everything is by managed but electronically where advice automatically all the team members hey guys there is a problem on the pin for us there is a, a not a correct dimension of this pin because create noise this can uh, the engineers because the engineer uh, people is member of this team is uh, uh, advised is highlighted take in charge this uh, uh, this uh, note this issue and evaluate to modify the drawing and the drawing will be modified and put in the system but is not officially is in the system but is not officially and uh, the program management is advised electronically this flow is completely electronically check if the timing and the cost of this modification can be uh, implemented if implement is possible to implement program management uh, the responsible of the program give the electronically the okay the, give the signature electronically automatically the system substitutes the previous version to the new version and the new version is available to everybody means purchasing can contact directly the, 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 the supplier, tell there is a new drawing, and this completely uh, in uh, electronic format, this operation, without any, 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 we are paperless at the end. Now, the next step for us, because uh, uh, The next step for us is uh, is a big challenge because uh, is in the complete integration of composite materials within the PLM. No, in the 3D experience in Ovia, all the composite material. No, Sabelt designs industrialized and manufactured seat that must meet important structural and, and weight requirements. Obviously, the seat is uh, made, uh, made up of, of a multiple material, steel, foam, plastic, and other parts, other material, but the parts that distinguish our seat from traditional one are the composite material. Uh, now it's very easy to assign a traditional material to the 3D models. From this we obtain weight, volume, and bull of series of information on performance, even structural. Unfortunately, on composite materials it is a bit is it is a bit more complicated. Uh, we are entering a whole series of data on composite materials in our Novia library. This allows to allow us to uh, through the composite module of Katia V5 to define exactly exactly which uh, and how many layer of uh, carbon fiber of glass fiber fabric are needed to make one backrest so that it exceeds the requirement of safety performance. No? Dealing with safety, 
the traceability is extremely important and uh, here where Novia is a key you no know, to to keep uh, track of all the layering uh, of the material that make make up our backrest monitoring of all its subsequent modification keeping the pro the process completely under control and managing the design that and the related information to uh, for uh, its production. This is the, the let me say the, the last uh, step we 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 will do with uh, now we are working on with uh, with an uh, I hope to uh, you all appreciate my. my experience with Anovia, I try to share with you my experience because uh, for, for sure in, in a more, uh, in, in a world where we are always more, uh, more fast and uh, more precise, more quality, keep uh, the cost under control. Uh, we found in Genovia the, the right solution. I hope uh, will we will be the same uh, for you. Thanks uh, for uh, thanks you all for the attention and uh, see you next time. Thanks. Hello everybody. I'm John Puts, development manager in IMC Toys, and I'm going to explain you our experience with Enovia. Let me introduce IMC Toys. IMC is a toy company based in Barcelona. IMC was created uh, 40 years ago and the company had two big changes in his life. More or less 20 years ago, we started to develop our products under license. Then uh, we start to create the R&D department. That means to have a process behind with a team of designers and engineers. And the second big change happens around 10 years ago. The company decided to change and start to create our own brands like Crybabies, Crybabies Magic Tears, Bloopies, all of them into doll category, Club Pets, Feature Plus category, Play Fun in Games category, and keep licensed products like the Master Toy in Mickey and Minnie. Our main objective in the toy design are satisfy the needs of customers and key users, have an innovative design, take care about the quality of the products, and all of this having a competitive price. IMC is present in more than 60 countries, having commercial offices in Europe, a new and welcome office in US, which started two years ago. And in terms of development, we have an office in Hong Kong and China which is working closely to the development team in Spain to prototype and produce our products. We don't have any fear of challenges and growth. So, as commented, we have many successful brands, which are based in the design and innovation to have a big impact in the market. Crybabies is the best at this moment, but are coming on another ones like Pipet, Club Pet, and some more news. Let's see our corporate video. At IMC Toys, we strive to create a world of fun for children everywhere. We produce exciting toys inspired by some of the most popular children's characters whilst generating revenue for our partners and distributors around the world. Disney. Mickey and the Roadster Racers. Club Pets. Yokai Watch. Baby Wow are just some of the top licenses and brands already associated with IMC Toys. Thanks to our creative philosophy, we now have one of the most exciting and desirable collections in the toy industry. Our vast product portfolio includes toys for boys, girls and a wide variety of age groups. At IMC Toys, we're proud to say that we have achieved our goal of expanding distribution into the worldwide market. We have presence in more than 60 countries, 
Our outgoing expansion in key markets is the result of a job well done from our subsidiaries and distributors. In recent years, international business has increased exponentially and now makes up 80% of the company's total sales. IMC Toys participates in the top toy fairs around the world. This presence is an essential factor in marketing our products and gives IMC Toys an opportunity to portray the brand image in a high-profile environment. At IMC Toys, we just love what we do, and this is what has led to such exemplary results. In 2015, we had the highest retail sales revenue of any 100% Spanish toy company. IMC Toys is ranked among the top 15 toy companies in Europe. Our company's growth is fueled by the dreams and quality work of the people that make up IMC Toys. And in the future, with your help and collaboration, we hope to continue growing. IMC Toys. Let's roll. IMC Toys. More than 30 years of experience, reliability and professionalism at your service. We want to be your partner. IMC Toys. Designed in Barcelona. Sold around the world. How is done all these big range of products? With a big and amazing development team. Around 70 workers with different profiles. And we are growing. And it's important to have a good communication, to be well organized and without losing information. Teams like industrial designers, engineers, marketing, visualizers, project managers, and our staff in China with engineers to follow the development and production, or production engineers with factories in India and Vietnam. A big team working for the same objective and in a really tight time and all of them using the same project information. IMC has grown really fast and has been improving the development process. We cannot stop of having innovative products, but at the same time, we need to reinvent the development process. IMC was working with a traditional tools like, like Excel files, Word documents. Files to follow the project with product information, cost information, and many people using these files and not having the security that another one is working at the same time. Many meetings and an Excel file with links to follow the task and sharing. Complex and big folder structure, not intuitive, changing many times. And duplicate servers in Barcelona and in China doing the files transfer by a project manager. Can you imagine that? There are some of the examples of how we manage the project, having many mistakes, repeating files, and information due to overlap. Why IMC decided to do this change? First of all, because the company is growing more and more, and new staff is starting, so how we teach them? If the information and process is well organized, will be faster to be efficient and be more productive in a short time. Our objective was to have a good project tracking and clear off for all the team. Revision and approval process, document traceability, one server, and from anywhere, project cost control, task control, and easy to manage. Information in one side and capitalize on knowledge. The company objective is to keep or increase project quality, increase the project capacity and have an investment return. IMC has 3D experience in OVIA on premise and using the functions of product line, project and document management, task control, which we have made a customized, a customized task tool. Let me show you some screenshots where it's easy and clear to see the project information. Product lines, the interaction with marketing. Project collection is there with the key information, easy to find, easy to find information and not misunderstanding. Project plan, schedules and status in real time. The team has the info, the managers has a summary. Easy search method and fast. No need to jump and jump by folders. An intuitive software and each person can customize like he wants the creative team or engineers can work differently with task folders but they are working in the same site and one and one tool that we decided to customize inside the 
what's the task method to change the hours? In our case, the team can see the task project link status in a unique table and share the task hour investment and close the task in the same site. Fast way, and we avoid that the team forget to introduce the information. IMC started to work in Enovia eight, eight months ago, and suddenly the COVID-19 arrived. But we have had a good reaction from the team. They have been using easily from their no homes. We leave it to home suddenly in one day, but the day after the team keep working, working without any problem, having the information and documentation like in the office. IMC is using Enovia. We are really juniors and we are teaching all the teams involved. And every month, more users are running with it. We are improving many things, many processes. People is adapting to the tool. But we are seeing that the people is asking to the project managers to update the information, timing, and task. And they want the files in the system to avoid any mistake and overlap. In a short time, we see small changes that will be changes in few time. And the future with Enovia is to have a well-controlled well controlled financial process to manage the budgets, to introduce all ideas in the system to have a good record. Every year, we have many ideas, and for tacking, we want to have insight and try to introduce the quality management to have all the product circle in the same software. And I do two questions. This big change was worth it? So my answer is yes. We always will have problems. You are changing the method. The people doesn't like the change. But at the end, you are helping the team to be more efficient. And if any new person is hired, it will learn the process faster. And did we get the immediate results? And I can say, yeah, I, I can say no. In our case, we need to finish a full two year collection. Means around one year, one year and a half to have project analyzed, give real cases, and help company to decide if proceed or not with some projects. But it's necessary to start and run. Thank you for your attention.